This is the Paxton 10 desktop reader. It is used for adding people and credentials to the system. We also have cards and key fobs. Inside the box we have the desktop reader, a USB cable, and some simple instructions. Installing the desktop reader is easy. You just plug it into any available USB port. Adding a person to Paxton 10 can be done by using the buttons on the home screen or in the ribbon bar. Or you can just present a new credential to the desktop reader and this will automatically create a new record. Enter the person's name. Add their image, and that's all you have to do. You can see in the Credential tab that the key fob has now been assigned to this person. Depending on how you have set up building permissions, this person may already have access rights. To check, navigate to the Permissions tab. In Buildings, you can see and change the permissions this person is assigned. You can see specifically which doors they have access to and when. You can also assign this person permissions to use the Paxton 10 software if required. If you need to immediately revoke building and software permissions, then this can be done quickly and easily using the bar person control. People can be organized into groups. These can easily be created and arranged into any configuration you want. You can set up building permissions for groups so that the people in those groups automatically inherit those permissions. It is possible for people to exist in more than one group. If an individual is both a manager and a fire warden, for example, then they may exist in both groups. To add a person to more than one group, you can either drag and drop while pressing the Alt key, or simply copy and paste using the ribbon bar or right-click menu controls. To check and edit the groups a person is in, navigate to the Group Membership tab in their record. You can change the information that is stored about people in Paxton 10 using custom fields. This can be accessed from any person's record, or in settings. For example, if I want to record employee number for individuals, then I can add this field quickly and easily. I can now enter this information into people's records. Thanks for watching. For more information about Paxton 10, check out some of our other videos.